Consider an object in free fall. When an object is in free fall, that means that this, there is one significant force on the object, the force of gravity. Now the question arises, what happens if an object experiences one single force downward, but at the same time the object is moving sideways? Now if there's only one force on the object and the force is downward, is it plausible that, it, that the object would, move, would neither speed up nor slow down in its motion sideways while it was falling? Now if that's the case, consider the following circumstance. Let's imagine that we've got a high-powered rifle and this rifle is going to fire a bullet, an object, and it's going to fire it exactly horizontally. Let's imagine, just as it fires a bullet horizontally, we drop a bullet. Both of these objects experience a single significant force, the force of gravity, and in both instances, it's straight down. So both of these objects will accelerate downward. But the one object is moving sideways at the same time. And the question arises now, which of the two objects will hit the ground first? The object that is moving sideways while it falls or the object that is simply dropped? Well, if what I said is plausible, that the force downward causes the same acceleration downward, then both of the objects ought to hit the ground at the same time, independent of the fact that one of them is moving sideways. Now that's plausible. It might even be reasonable. But with nature, you always have to go back and ask nature whether it's true or not. Plausible, reasonable, well, that's all fine. But in the final analysis, you have to go ask nature what she really does. And so here I happen to have a high-powered rifle. This high-powered rifle will fire a bullet for me to the side, just as I imagined in my little uh, uh, story there a moment ago. We cock it. It's a spring-loaded rifle. And so uh, there's a plunger here, and uh, we're going to fire this, uh, this bullet with this plunger. It's going to hit it and off at a tremendous speed to the side. And while that's happening, I have a second bullet, happens to have a hole in it, slips right over the plunger like that. Now, when the plunger's released, you go whoop like that, it will fire this bullet horizontally, but at the same time it will drop this one. And the question is, what does nature do? If you watch the bullets, when they hit the tabletop, is it plink, plunk, or is it plunk, Plink, or is it thud? They both hit at the same time. Well, watch carefully, and we'll see what nature does. They both hit the table at the same time. What we said was plausible, and reasonable turns out to be true. It's exactly what nature does. So a conclusion we can draw from our experiment is this. In your mind, trying to understand the motion of an object, you can separate what the object is doing vertically from what it's doing horizontally.